He catches a few fish there as they now wait on each side of the stage for getting, getting called up. Trying to correct his brand chaos speaking. It, it was an amazing week. It was an amazing Watching season. Uh, Final just moments. to wrap this up, it's hard just to try to put a bow on this thing, but I will tell you that it was an honor to watch all the kids and all the anglers from the guys and gals that fished with us here at College Bass, uh, the Bass Master on the with College here at College Bass, uh, the Bass Master on the College Series stage. It's amazing. And I want to say thank you on behalf of Bass and the Anderson family and the tournament department, Chris Bowes, Hank Weldon, Lisa Talmadge, GL Compton, and myself. That, uh, that sums up the whole tournament department. So I want to say thank you guys for uh, always supporting Bass and being here. But this is what happens. When you put something together, the platform, it draws the best kids in the country, and it just happens to so be here right here today. We're standing with two. After all the kids that have competed, these are the best two kids in the country right here today. They beat their peers. It's not easy. And if you're not following us on the Bassmaster website, you need to go follow us in 2024 because I promise you, it's not getting easier to get to this point right here. So uh, thanks on behalf. Let me get some thank yous in. I want to thank Milford uh, Lake. I want to thank Gary County. Thank you so much for having us. Acorns Resort, Mike Harris, Leslie, uh, Susie, they did an amazing job housing uh, all the anglers this week. Uh, the dinner the other night was amazing. All those folks from Kansas Wildlife, everybody here, the mayor, uh, Fort Riley, thanks to those armed services, men and women that do what they do so we can do what we do. So we want to say thank you to those guys. And on behalf of Bass, it's much appreciated. So uh, let's get these guys. Come on up, Tucker. Come on up. Easton, come on up here. I know we... Uh, it's been a run for both of you. It's been a run and it's a grueling of emotional. I know you haven't had any sleep this week. I know because I have not had any sleep myself as well. And I'm not even competing in it. I know we thanked everybody. But what I want to do right here today is give me some key baits this week and how you broke was able to break the lake down. Uh, yeah, so I kind of started on the bottom end when I first got here and uh, started throwing a Ned rig around in a top water in the mornings. And uh, that's what I was catching most of my fish on through a couple different other baits, you know, drop shot, other stuff like that. But most of my fish came on the Ned rig on, off rocky points and off those rock shelves. You did a little, you tweaked it up while I was watching this morning right off the gate. You went a little bit new this morning, which was cool because the wind hadn't beat up a lot of those areas, which I thought was a very smart play. And uh, definitely, uh, have nothing to hang anybody's head about either way this thing shakes out because you guys are true winners and competitors because man you guys caught them you made live this week let's give these guys a big round of applause today because live was jacked up it was awesome back and forth all day long real quick some quick thank yous before we uh, go over to easton uh yeah i'd just like to thank my family and friends for coming the team uh bassmaster for putting it on you know it's been a great week had a lot of fun caught a lot of fish but we'll see how it shakes out okay good deal easton Key bait, I was able to ride with you today. Great, the way you broke the lake down. And, and it looked like from what we watched all week long, you guys were very consistent to what we, you guys had confidence in. You ran a little bit of new water today. Uh, you said it to, tr to try to maybe mix something up. You had to go swinging for the fences. And uh, to make sure, because you, you kept mentioning all day long, you know Tucker's gonna bring it, Tucker's gonna bring it, and you didn't wanna leave anything else and no stone unturned out there. Key baits, and how did you break this Lake Milford down? Yeah, so the first thing I did out here was I started running the steep breaks, the channel swing banks, and immediately started getting bites. And then after that, I tried to further dial it in, and I dialed it into what kind of rock they like on those channel swing banks, which is chunk rock, like basketball-sized boulders. And I, once I figured that out, I just graphed for a long time. And I also found a bunch of stuff on Google Earth, which I caught them on. But key bait, first day, was a small swing bait with an underspin, underspin head. Um, and all three days, some key fish on a spinner bait, but first day a swim bait with the spinner bait, and then the next two days was a little finesse football jig, and then a tube, so. You mentioned it today, you mentioned it today, you mentioned it as well. The competition to get here, it's not easy. The competition to get to this point, just to make it to the national championship, and then maybe be one of the top four teams in the country to put yourself here with an opportunity. How tough is the competition that fishes this college Bassmaster Series program? Yeah, me and Nick have talked about it all the time, you know, winning team of the year is something we had never thought we were even capable of doing. And then me today, even making the final day, it's even more crazy. It just, all these guys are so good, you know, and it's just unbelievable. Mix of emotions. I can sense it on all of these guys up here. The competition doesn't get easier and it's not going to get any easier. How tough is it 
you guys national champions winning that thing this year you've always you've also been a team of the year what does it mean man to do that and you're beating your peers yeah i mean it means everything these guys are the best in the country like y'all were saying you know it's not just a bunch of group of guys that get together that you know don't know how to fish all these guys are the best and uh to be able to make it to this tournament especially it's you have to really really catch them and it's uh really really special to just to make it to this tournament so to be able to fish on the final day was something special you know and uh I'll cherish it for sure. Championship Monday. Let's give these two competitors one more round of applause. <laughs> their, short, their score sheets and tallies here, if they want to have these as memorabilia, they will be revealed right here. One of, these angling, one of these lucky anglers right here will be your 2023 College Bassmaster Classic Bracket Champion and take their self to the Bassmaster Classic in Grand Lake. Your 2023 Strike King Bassmaster College Series College Bracket Champion, presented by Luz. Congrats. <laughs> Easton Fothergill, University of Montevallo, punches his ticket to the 2024 Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic, presented by Toyota. That's not going to sink in right now. It's not going to sink in. We're also going to get you a truck. Toyota Dynamics going to get you a brand new Toyota Tundra. We're going to get you one of them brand new Z Nitro, Z20 Nitros, brand new. We're going to rig it out. We're going to get it all decked out in your school colors. Guess what? Earlier you said, Dad let you borrow his boat. Where's Dad at? Dad, you get your boat back. <laughs> Dad let him borrow his boat all, drive all over the country. So guess what? Now you can give Dad back his boat. You got your own, my friend and you are a classic champion and a classic bracket champion, and you are a classic bound, my friend. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> Mom, Dad, y'all can come up here and love on this man right here. Come on up here. I'm going to make it official real quick. Let me make it official. Let's make this thing official right here. And then you can set that thing down right there if you want to, and then let's hold this thing real high and proud right there, just like we do on Championship Sunday. Right there. Let's hold that up big. We're also going to give you $7,500 on behalf of Bass and Strike King. We're going to give you guys $7,500 as well to make sure that happens. That makes traveling a little bit easier right there. <laughs> this is what it's... <laughs> this is why I wear sunglasses. Listen. You doubted yourself. You thought you left, it open. You left the door open yesterday. You said that this morning. You was lucky. You thought you, you wasn't going to make it. Easton Fothergill, your champion. 2023 Bassmaster College Series Classic Bracket. Presented by Luz. You see the final matchup there. Two pounds, five ounces. Is the difference between winning and second place. Fothergill going to the Bassmaster Classic. Representing the University of Montevallo. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to Tucker Smith. All eight of our participants today, every single college team that participates with Bassmaster, we don't take it lightly. Thank you so much for supporting the tournament trail that makes dreams happen for the amateur anglers. You can see it was starting to get dusty on There's the banks tears. of Milford Lake. There's tears. Easton oh, yeah. Fothergill showing a little bit of emotion. What a roller coaster season. The best team in the year makes it through so much adversity this summer to advance to the Bassmaster Classic. Congratulations, Easton Fothergill.